So, Kevin, welcome to Cork. Thank you very much, Brenda. <laughs> you got a very good one there. You didn't call me Breeder, thank God. No, no, but you good. look like a Breeder. Do I look? Oh, sure? yeah. Yeah, as in cattle, you know, breeding, you look like you've got good hips, okay. childbearing hips. What is your favourite thing about Ireland apart from Cork City? I love the people. Does that sound show busy and political? I, I really do. And, and over the years, see, I've been coming here now for about, oh, I guess the best part of 30 years, and you make a lot of friends. From what I've been hearing about you, okay, you've a very filthy mouth in you. It is alleged, Your Honour. Um, yeah, but I, I don't go out of my way to be, to be filthy or offensive. It's just the way that I was brought up in the outback of Australia. Everybody talks like that. Imagine. So I was looking at a list of some of your songs, right? You can't say cunt in Canada. Uh -huh. What was the inspiration for that? Just say it again. I love it when you talk dirty. Say that again. You can't say cunt in Canada. Oh, thank you. If my father hears you say cunt, I'd never be allowed to go home again. But that is a really bad word. Like, do you use that word, like, not a bother? Uh, well, again, different words have different values in yeah. different countries. Um, in, in Australia, it has, it's, it's not a very high value at all in as much as most of my mates are cunts. You know, like, they'd be funny cunts or they'd be drunken old cunts or silly cunts. Dictaphone? Dick net fucking thing, not net fucking thing. Where did where did the inspiration for that come? Uh, being pissed off by a telephone company. The, the ah. guy, the guy has actually got an impediment, okay. and that's how he's in the phone. I what did another it? one yeah. um, called my dick just dialed your number. Okay. Uh, oh, that was it. I think that's the one I was thinking of. That's the one I saw. My dick just dialed your number on his own. He slipped the grip. I had him in and bolted for the phone. I'm getting by, I'm doing fine, but he's missing like you like hell. Me dick just dialed your number by himself. And I also like Grandad's got a bone. Uh-huh, yeah. Grandad's got a stiffy, Grandad's got a bone. Somebody better get Nana in quick, we promised her we'd phone. He's OD'd on Viagra. Call Grandmother up on the phone. Grandad's got a stiffy, Grandad's got a bone. Actually, uh, there was a gentleman, he uh, dropped in Viagra into the radio talk show that I work in for me. Yes. Because we were talking about my love life on the radio. Uh, the women's version of Viagra was called Niagara. <laughs> Makes them wet and wild. <laughs> How did you, uh, I think you distinguished it, my accent wasn't from Cork City? There's a Kerry accent in there. Yeah, but did I, someone I, tell you that when I wasn't here? No. Or did you just guess well, it? I, yeah, well, the other thing about it is, of course, um, when I was a young fella living out in the desert in the outback of Australia, if, um, if we couldn't get a fuck in Kalgoorlie, we would ride our push bikes to, to Kerry. We never ever missed out in Kerry. So what was your mum's maiden name? Just as a Welch. point. Tell a bucket ball said good day. <laughs> I'll bring her there now soon and tell her. Um, I know that when the first time you went to Northern Ireland, you got very excited. Can you remember that? Uh, there's a lot of things happened the first time I went to Northern Ireland uh, because the border still existed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, just going through the border for the first time and. Mm -hmm. This huge, I don't know whether this is a story that you heard, yeah, but uh, the there's a huge big um, soldier standing there with a, a rocket launcher yeah. on his chest and he spoke to Michael, who was the driver at the time, and he said to Michael, who have you got on board today? He said, i got Kevin Wilson from Australia. He said, not Kevin Bloody Wilson. He said, yes, it is. He said, go and say hello. So next minute the, the door flies open in the back of this stretch limo and uh, this guy leans in and he's got this rocket pointed in my head. Kevin, welcome to Northern Ireland, shaking my hand and carry on. I thought, fuck, I'm glad he liked me. And you do a good Irish accent. Can you do a good Cork accent? Uh, would you like a fuck, Paddy? Irish, I suppose. You see, I'm a bit confused now because I thought I had a bit of a Cork accent, but you're saying something like Kerry. So if I, in Cork, now we'd all be saying, what's the crack? What's the, the crack? Over. Yeah, what's the crack? What's the crack, Paddy? Or I have another one for you that I always say, what's happening? What's up? That's American. No, that's American. You're not going, 
You need to say, what's happening? So you need to go, what's the crack? What's happening? So you need to say. <laughs> Finally, why did you choose bloody? Well, Angel? the family name's fucking Wilson. Okay. Um, so I thought I'd just turn it down a bit so as not to embarrass the family. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, good Thanks on you. Thanks for taking the time to speak to Thank me. Thank you, Brenda. It's good yeah. fun. Are you going to call me Brenda? I know. Great. I sh shall I? No. Okay. No thanks. Thanks a million. It's pretty good.